Hello friends, welcome to this training video. In this video, I want to fully wire an industrial switchboard. This switchboard includes four three-phase contactor outputs and several direct three-phase outputs. The first step is to install the ducts, which we do. To save time, parts of the video are played at the higher speed. The second step is to install the rails, which we do. The installation of rails and duct is finished. Now we install the equipment in the electrical panel. At first we install a three-phase RCCB switch that supplies electricity to the entire electrical panel and protect the entire circuit against current leakage and electrocution. This is a miniature switch for connecting and disconnecting the control circuit in the electrical panel. Next to the RCCB switch, we use a phase controller relay that controls the voltage of the phases and cuts off the command circuit in case of an error. This switchboard contains four contactor outputs, so we need contactors. Also, for each three-phase contactor outputs, we put a miniature switch to protect the corresponding circuit from short circuit. One of the contactor outputs works as a timer, so we also install a timer relay. For three-phase outputs, we put a current controller relay to control the current of the phases and protect the power circuit against excess current. These three miniature switches distribute three-phase electricity outside the electrical panel. Also, several single-phase miniature switches that are used for single-phase outputs. The installation of equipment is finished. Now we start the wiring. First, we wire the emergency switch. This is a two-mode switch that is used to enter the CT electricity and emergency electricity into the electrical panel. The CT electricity enters from this part, and the emergency electricity enters from this part, and the electricity exists from this part and enters the switchboard. Now we connect the wires to the switch. Now we install the switch in its place. Now we install the input and output terminal. These four terminals are for three-phase and neutral power input. CT electricity will enter the electrical panel from these terminals. These four terminals are for emergency power input to the switchboard. These are the three-phase and neutral terminals for direct three-phase outputs.
These are the phase and neutral terminals for single phase outputs. And these are the three phase output terminals. Now we connect the city and emergency power wires to their respective terminals. Now we connect the three phase output of the switch to the RCCB switch. These switches are used as the main switch in the electrical panel. Now we connect the neutral wire from the neutral terminals to the input of the RCCB switch. Now we connect the output of the RCCB switch to all the input of the three phase and single phase miniature switches. We also connect one sample of each phase to the three phase monitoring relay so that the voltage of the phases can be controlled. Now it's connected from the output of the RCCB switch to the input of the miniature switch and from its output to the output terminals. The neutral wire is also connected directly. Now we connect the output of the miniature switch to the input of the contactors.
We connect the three phases from the output of the contactors to the output terminals, but before that we pass through the whole of the current controller relay so that their currents are measured and displayed. Now we connect the output of this miniature switch to the output terminals directly. Now we connect the neutral wire from the output of the RCCB switch to all blue neutral terminals. Now we wire the single phase socket on the body of the electrical panel. We connect the phase wire to the yellow miniature switch and the neutral wire to the neutral terminals. and we connect the rest of the miniature suites to the output terminals. The output of this miniature switch before being connected to the output terminals are connected to the selector switch that are installed on the door of the electrical panel so that we can connect it and disconnect it the electricity from the door of the electrical panel. We have also installed four selector switches that disconnect and connect the power of the contactors. The input of this switch is connected to the output of the phase controller relay and their output is connected to the input of the current controller relay and their output is connected to the coil of the contactors. At this stage all the wires are connected. There are wiring details in the wiring diagram that is displayed at the end of the video. The wiring is finished. In this step we close the door of the ducts. And this is a wiring diagram. This video is finished. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe button. And if you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Goodbye.